first guest plays Emmett on Queer as Folk. Great show, folks. Seen on Showcase Television every Monday night. Have a look. I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, I, I must be crazy. I know sooner get together with this really wonderful guy that I go and do something with someone that means absolutely nothing to me. I mean, why do I do these things? Please welcome our pal, Peter Page. Page, you're a little hungry. You're a little hungry today. Oh yeah, dude. I haven't eaten for about nine months. Are you serious? Well, well, when you're on Queer as Folk, you know, any given moment you walk into work and they're all get naked. So, <laughs> um, so you know, I haven't had a donut in so long. Yeah, These yeah. are so freaking good. You yeah. want one? Sure, I'll take one. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. They're good. They're totally. Did you guys have Krispy Kremes? You guys had these? Yeah. They're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the good news. Yeah. We got 2,400 of them here. Some for everybody. Everybody's taking a box out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. All right, we're going to some time. There we go, yeah. Mm. God, this Boy, what a, is so good. What a great Rosie O'Donnell impression that was. <laughs> We've got donuts for everyone in our studio audience. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, you know, you brought up the nudity, and uh, that is my only beef with the show. I'm really getting tired of seeing your ass. I'd like to see that. Dude, my ass is spectacular. Well, I would... How, can you... I mean... What, what, whose ass I, do you want to see? I want to see the lesbian couple more oh. often. I, I think... I think Those I speak two are on sticking entire, fingers in uh, everything they got well, every I, time I, I turn the show on. I speak on behalf of your uh, military police demographics. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, so hey, on, a, on a cold night in Afghanistan, they'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be lucky to have me. You bet. You bet. Um, I, hey, wait, I got a beef with you. I got a beef with you. You just put a skit up there and you had a guy wearing an America t shirt who called some guy from the Middle East a goat humper. Right. <laughs> and I got to say, nobody I know would ever call someone from the Middle East a goat humper. Mm -hmm. We call people from Kentucky goat humpers. <laughs> just so we're clear. Okay. Yes, we, we call them names and you kill them. Let's yeah. go on. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Seriously. And see. <laughs> now, now, I'm sure you're happy winter's over. Oh, God, what was you, this? Well, you guys all seem to hate the winter. You're all American, most of the cast. Most of us are. And, most and of us you are. seem to hate the Toronto it, winter. Can you give me a good reason not to? That well, was the most horrible thing I've ever been through in my life. Well, we as, we as yeah, it was Minus a pretty bad. Minus 20 bajillion. I, you know, and yeah. we're, you know, and we, we shoot outside and we're always going yeah. to the clubs, so our costume designer's always like, you wouldn't even really wear a coat. Why don't you, you're just running from the car to the club. And I'm like, right. I'm just running from the car to the club for five hours after midnight. Yeah. I don't know, I'm putting on a coat. It always, it always amazes me that uh, real gay people are tougher than the cast of your show. <laughs> <laughs> you never... You never, you never hear a complaint from a gay person hey, in the winter. Hey, of, I can wear fur. I you know what I mean? <laughs> they, they love it, but you guys and the cast of that show, all you do, Hal Sparks comes there, he cries about how cold it is. It's, well, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Hey, do you like my jacket? You I love it. It's beautiful. Where'd yes. you get that? Uh, I got it down on Queen Street. I call it um, Crouching Peter, Hidden Faggot. <laughs> it's pretty good. Don't you think? Just so, just so we don't get letters, this might be a good Yeah, time. right, yeah, I'm gay. You are gay. Relax, yeah, relax. Gay. Yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. I play gay, gay on TV, yeah. and I do it in real life. Now, I heard through the, I heard through the grapevine you're thinking of becoming a Canadian resident. I am thinking about becoming a... If you guys can do something about this winter, it'd be a very appealing offer. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I, there you I'm go. Thinking, it's over. It's, oh, yeah. Because I'm leaving on Monday. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's over. Yeah. That happened last year, too. Uh, I am thinking about becoming a Canadian resident. I love... I really do uh, love it up here. Mm -hmm. Although, i got to say, there's one thing that freaks me out. Justin Trudeau, Ben Mulroney. What, yeah. What's up with those two? Are they like... Should they start a boy band? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really get it. It's like there's some weird version of Canadian royalty. Yeah. 
I don't, I, it's all, every time I turn on the TV, one of them's talking to me. And they're all, you know, and that's what they think over at Star TV. And I'm all, okay, great. Yeah, freak. What's up? Well, well. she's uh, smiley. I don't know. It's, uh, anyway, they're pretty, but, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I, I agree with you. My, yeah. It's not right, like well, my so dad had there. a talk show. Yeah. Now, uh, you, uh, you, you, you really are considering this. I mean, you no, I swear, yeah, I swear I am. Well, we work with all these amazing Canadian directors. We work with Bruce McDonald and David Wellington and yeah. all these really, you know, gifted, gifted guys. And I want to come back and work with them more. Right. I want to, you know, and I need, right. in, in order to do that, I need to get working papers. So yeah. I'm... I'm thinking about it. I sure oh, you're here illegally. Here. That's nice. No, I'm not here illegally, but I'm only allowed to work on Queer as Folk. Right, right. Now, I heard so. through the grapevine also that uh, you're very excited because Tippy Hedrick's on the show. I am excited. Tippi. Tippi. Caw, before. caw! What? Um, uh, <laughs> no, Tippy, I met Tippy uh, before. We did a, uh, a benefit uh, fundraiser fashion show together in LA last summer. Right. It was me, Tippy Hedron, Lonnie Anderson, Florence Henderson. And a bunch of other people who are in that same range as me, who you probably wouldn't know if I named them. Um, uh, Gay icons all. Pretty much. Yeah. You forgot to say. And you. It's, yeah. Well, huh? Shucks. Yeah. <laughs> you talk. Um, uh, yeah, it was amazing. It was yeah. an amazing experience. Um, Florence Henderson, uh, one of the women was uh, one of the women in the fashion show was a playmate of the year, Brandy Roderick or whatever. She was also on that celebrity Get Me Out of Here show. Right. Very nice. And she was coming out with a cigar. She had this whole bit where she was going to come out with a cigar. Well, it comes time for Brandy to go on, and there's and nobody can find the cigar. Where's the cigar? Where's the cigar? Well, wouldn't, wouldn't you know it? Florence Henderson shows up on stage, walking down the runway, and whips out poof, the big old stogie. Yeah. Starts puffing on it. Yeah. Tough old broad stole it right out from under. Yeah. Yeah. I know, Mrs. Mrs. Brady. Yeah. Is a thief. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That was. Oh, hey, I have another really good celebrity story. I have another okay. really good. This is. Um, I went to Elton John. Is this one better? Oh wow. <laughs> oh, it was going so well. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Brady stole a cigar. I thought right. that was good. Yeah. All right. Now, you ever seen Florence Henderson puff on a stogie? I'm no. just saying. Um, uh, and you're not gonna now. Um, so I was at Elton John's Oscar party. Yeah. And I was I was super excited to oh, go. Oh, yeah, get was, that in. It was yeah. uh, well, <laughs> thud. I'm sorry. Did you hear that name dropping? Yeah. It's a red, yeah. Somebody get it. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm at Ellen John's Oscar party. I go to the restroom, and who do I run into in the restroom? But Eric McCormick. Also mm. Canadian. Yes, Will uh, and Grace. Yes, Will, of, Will from Will and Grace. Right. And uh, Eric, Eric and I, we, I did Will and Grace a long time ago, and, and we've run into each other a bunch of times since then. We're friendly, and so we start chatting in the restroom. You know, Eric's peeing, whatever. I'm washing my hands, chatting, and um, we go to leave. And the, the doors are locked. The doors were stuck. So, so, so Will and Emmett, for all intents and purposes, are, are locked in a bathroom. <laughs> and um, and uh, I, I don't know. I, there's, there's a part of the story I'm not allowed to share on your show. Right. Okay. But, um, but uh, uh, yeah, and that's also happened the last time I saw him was at the GLAAD Awards, and we got stuck in an elevator together. Isn't that so For like 15 good. minutes. Wow, it's almost like fate is bringing you together. I know, I think so. <laughs> Janet, his wife, is a lovely woman, but I think that, he's got to go. That was a good story. See, but that was a good story. It's a good story, but it didn't have a punchline. That story line. was so good, we're not going to put you through the Canadian quiz. We are just going to award you this no. lovely prize. You know, I give you the Canadian quiz, dude. If you get three right answers, you win a Simonize electric pressure washer. Oh, all right. There we go. There it is. Brought to us by our good friends at Canadian Tire. And I might as well as giving you the question, who's the only Canadian series regular on Queer as Folk? It couldn't uh, have been. That'd be Taya Gill. Absolutely correct. Me. We'll be right back with Tippi Hedren.